hard to, to anticipate how things will be um, going forward. The, I, I, would, I would put it in sort of perhaps three time frames, uh, three time, broad time frames. In the immediate, from now till perhaps one year, maybe one and a half years from now, I don't expect major changes. Right? Yes, we can do a bit of easing and all that, but we will largely still be in the midst of a pandemic. Because even if the majority of people in Singapore are vaccinated, it's impossible for the world to be vaccinated by this year. Not at all. Which means that all around us, there will be countries um, where the virus may very well still be raging. End of the year, early next year, who knows, right? And so we will still, in, we will still largely be in this sort of pandemic mood, right? Over a four-year time frame, five years, who knows exactly when, but at some point, the pandemic will pass. Surely, no pandemic is forever. The, either the world gets vaccinated and achieves herd immunity, or the virus attenuates and you know, it, it, it's no longer as deadly, or some, you know, something happens and the virus, the pandemic passes. How long that will take, I don't know, but it's not going to be within a year. It, if you say four or five years, perhaps. So over a four-year period, I think there will be a gradual recovery of the economy, of our social norms. And it will take time, right? It will take time because the world will still be suffering from the effects socially, economically, psychologically of the pandemic. And, and this will be not a V-shaped recovery. It's not going to be a sharp rebound, but it will be a gradual process and at some point the world will emerge out of this pandemic. Beyond that time frame, then we have a new post-pandemic world, a new post-COVID world. What will this, what will this new post-COVID world be like? <laughs> it's very hard to say. Will certain norms be changed? Will we stop shaking hands and have different kinds of greetings? Maybe. But it's, who knows? We, we said this after SARS. Let's not shake hands anymore. But everyone reverted to shaking hands again. Right? But maybe after a global pandemic like this, maybe habits will change. Will working from home become more permanent? I doubt it will be 100% as it is, or even 50%, but maybe some blend. What, kind, what, will, be, what, be, what will be the new hybrid model? Again, it's very hard to tell, but I'm quite sure in this new post-COVID world, there will be some changes. Exactly what they are, I think it remains to be seen, and uh, we just have to be prepared for it and gear ourselves to thrive and survive and excel in this new world. We have now reached phase three, and phase three, uh, as uh, Lawrence mentioned, uh, one year, one and a half years, the whole idea of phase three is to allow us to achieve a more or less sustainable steady state situation while waiting for vaccine to be uh, propagated or for the world's uh, uh, infection to come down before we are able to revert more or less to the normal. Uh, that will take some time because it's not just Singapore, it's the rest of the world. So if, if you look at Singapore's uh, infection number, today may be low, but the rest of the world is still a very high number. So we would not be able to revert to normal unless the whole world has come down. So that's the nature of an infectious disease a pandemic. So therefore, it's going to be a long haul. Uh, uh, so yeah, important for us to roll out the vaccination. Uh, so what will happen after one and a half years uh, or two years? Again, it depends on what's happening to the rest of the world. So it's not so easy for us to uh, just simply open up. Even after we have all been vaccinated, uh, International traveling could still be challenging because other countries may not be opening. So if you want to travel, if there's nowhere for you to travel to, then you will have a problem. So in terms of uh, travel, international traveling is something that we will need to uh, look at what the rest of the world is, uh, is doing and what's happening uh, in the overall global landscape before we are able to make uh, major changes. But like Lawrence, I'm, I'm uh, hoping that some of the 
positive changes that we have made in terms of our public hygiene, personal hygiene, uh, these habits, I hope uh, they will last beyond just this uh, pandemic. Uh, because beyond the personal uh, uh, health issues, uh, it's, uh, the next pandemic is not very far away. And uh, a lot of stuff about four to five years uh, before we can get out of this. I was thinking to myself, this is one point I may disagree with him. Because uh, in the, over the next four or five years, <laughs> I'm quite sure the next pandemic will happen. Right, so uh, before we celebrate that, you know, event, finally uh, uh, COVID-19 is over, you have to be always be vigilant that the next pandemic is just a short uh, a distance away. So we must always be ready that it could happen anytime.